guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a DIY pop socket into rubber. But I'm not going to give you the rubber instructions because you can easily buy it from the store. And I, I'm actually using it to hold my button, so I might get it kind of weird. But it's not actually a pop socket. It's actually a thing that's like a little piggy to hold up your phone. And it's actually very simple to make. You just have to get a mold that looks like a silicone. And you have to try to put the body shape like this. And then you put the little tail if you want it. And this is supposed to be a pig. Sorry if I'm really off. And I know you, you saw these in st stores before. But I'm just trying to use it to like... I'm trying... I made this. So I'm trying to Hi. let people make this and not have to pay for it. So this is how you make it. You technically just get some um a rubber and and from the store and you just have to get silicone shape first you have to melt the rubber and then you have to get a silicone shape and put it in the rubber and then you have to get a round shape like the body and do it like that and then you could technically roll up the rubber in little balls to make the legs and then there's the little tail i don't know if you could say there's a little tail this is the suction cup see suction cup and everyone knows what pop sockets are for pop sockets are good for like putting it in between your wait one sec i have to go and get my other phone and i'll show you guys one sec okay so i just got the pop socket onto my phone and to my other phone and this is what it looks like when i hold it and this phone is kind of messed up that's why i don't use this one but it still works and then i get it and then like i set it down like that so it's also good for watching videos See, and then what I do is sometimes try to make music videos with it on my phone, so it's a lot more easier than holding. It's a lot more easier than holding your phone without a pop socket, like this, or when you could just use a pop socket, like this. Right. And before I do, before um next Tuesday. I will be uploading a new video of a, on a dance tutorial and it's a surprise for the song because I don't even know what song I'm going to do but I know that I'm doing a dance tutorial because I haven't done one of those since my first video. So I hope you guys do the rubber pop socket. Oh, and after you um, melt the pop socket, you need to make sure to let um, if the um, rubber freeze in the molds before you try to put them together. And then you have to heat them together. So, yeah, I hope you guys... Wait, wait one sec. Okay. So, I hope you guys like the pop socket. Oh, and I almost forgot one thing. I'm not sure if I said this in the beginning of the video, but the pop socket is also good for making videos or watching videos, like I'm doing now. And I'll also be going to do a slime tutorial um, next Wednesday after the day I do the dance tutorial. So, yeah. And they're very easy to find in the stores, actually. So, if you want, you can literally just go to a Kmart or a Walmart. They have them there, and you can get them easily for not even a dollar. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys make it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get a video every single week. Uh, oh, and I didn't upload yesterday because I was at my friend's house after school. So, oh, I just wanted to, sorry, I keep on doing that. I just wanted to prove to you guys that my British accent is not fake. As people say that it's fake. And sometimes I do it to make fun of my friends and not really make fun to get it. But, oh my god, I'm getting my words twisted up. And my British accent is not real. Sometimes I make it because it's fun to do when I really talk like this. But I love talking in a British accent because it seems more proper. So, bye guys. Hope you liked the video.